Hello and welcome back to some more Bitburners. So I left this uh, game running for a week and I'm currently struggling to grind out um, $150 billion. As you, as you can see here, I already leveled up um, 423 hacking level, which is pretty good, but still my hacks are pretty weak. Um, but luckily someone from the comment section commented that I can start my corp corporation without having to grind out that 150 billion dollars. Uh, so if I go to city and then go to the city hall uh, and then create corporation, uh, you can see that there's two options here. So I can either self fund or use the seed money and seed money is basically uh, according to this, the government will, um, I guess, you know, give me a company uh, in exchange for 500 million shares. So maybe that means that I'm going to have to give them a portion of my profits um, or maybe it's a loan. I don't know, uh, but we're going to start the, the company and I'm going to call my corporation. Uh, we do stuff. Yep, that's that's going to be my corporation name. We do stuff. WDS. Alright, so after a few hours of experimentation and trial and error, I think I finally figured out what uh, this corporation thing is about. Uh, something that I did regret not doing is backing up my save before doing the, any experimentation. And again, you can do that by clicking on this options menu and then exporting the game. And then as soon as you learn what you need to, you can then re-import the game as if nothing happened. Um, to get started, you first have to click on this expand tab and what this expand tab will do is that it's going to allow you to create your new division. Uh, every single division is linked to an industry. So for my case, I selected the software industry, but you can select whatever you want. Um, every single industry has their own starting cost. So this is how much you have to pay up front to actually create the division. And then also a recommendation of whether or not this is a good starting industry. Uh, you just give it a name and then press this expand tab and then you're going to lock um, a new tab with your division name. Um, on the left um, is your information about your company uh, or, or division and then uh, on the right has information about your productivity. Um, so I'll go over them, each of them one by one. Uh, so on the top left corner here you have information about i guess your comp uh, division's performance so revenue expenses profit uh, popularity awareness etc um, when you first start your division all of this will be set to zero and all of this will be set to one um, and then uh, for every single division you can then purchase a bunch of upgrades so i can purchase coffee for my employees to increase their energy and productivity I can uh, hire an advertising company to increase my, uh, I guess, division's popularity and awareness to increase sales. Uh, and then I can also develop software. So every single industry has their own unique product. Uh, since I went into the software industry, I can develop my own software. Uh, and I'm already starting development here, uh, creating PayPal and also Tesla right afterwards. Um, down here is your office space so you can hire employees uh, when you start out you can hire a maximum of three employees uh, but I just um, accidentally upgraded the size and now I have six employees but that's okay um, so hire three employees and then the trick to them is to hire one for each area so each area of these top three so operations engineer and business and what this one will do is that it's gonna increase the production of uh, your materials here which uh, I'm gonna go over uh, a bit later. Each area has uh, I guess their own purpose so uh, for operations you can increase the amount of materials you can produce. Um, engineer increases the quality of your produce which is therefore uh, increases the value of your products. Uh, business increases the sales. Um, management increases the efficiency of your employees. Uh, development uh, just gives you some scientific research points and then training increases your employee skills. So if we switch to manual mode, every single employee has their own attributes. So intelligence, charisma, experience, creativity, efficiency. Um, basically, the one attribute, uh, an attribute corresponds to a certain business area. So for example, 
um, if a, an employee is high in intelligence, then they're going to be doing really, really well on uh, engineering or operations. If they're good at charisma, then, then they're, they're going to do really well in uh, in business, etc. And I still have yet to explore what, um, I guess, what each combination is. So uh, I'm not sure what whether I can give you recommendations on which uh, attribute corresponds to what business area. Um, on the right here has information about your production. Um, the most important thing about this is uh, this equation here. Uh, 0.5 hardware plus 0.5 energy uh, is equal to one AI core plus one software. What does that mean? Uh, what this means is that if you buy 1000 hardware and 1000 energy, uh, 500 of uh, by combining 500 hardware and and 500 energy you can produce 1000 AI cores and then 1000 software um, and what this means is that this is your input so this how what the materials you have to buy and then this is your output so the materials you have to sell and something that I did wish I did at the beginning of uh, creating this uh, division is I should have purchased this thing called Smart Supply. And you can do that by clicking on the We Do Stuff or whatever corporation name you have. And it's one of the unlockables. So uh, that's the first thing you want to purchase, Smart Supply. Um, and what that one does is that it's going to automate the process of buying the products for you. Uh, based off the market value and then also the demands the demand so you don't have to uh, purchase things manually um, or all of that will be automated for you down here is uh, I guess the stuff you're selling uh, if we click on this um, the sell menu has two special I guess um, values so you you can use prod variable for the sell amount um, to indicate that I want to sell just the stuff that I'm producing and then you can use the MP variable uh, market uh, price variable uh, to sell the product at market price and then you can perform math operations uh, for on that as well so for me I'm selling my stuff at market price minus 1000 uh, just so that it's uh, a lot cheaper compared to the competition and then also you can buy real estate um, for me I accidentally bought a bunch of real estate and then I didn't even think about it so now I'm trying to sell it um, but yeah so that's the that's a very very basic gist of it for a software industry uh, you have the option to I guess you know create your own piece of product and every single product has their own name uh, the design a design investment and then the marketing investment and according to this if you invest uh, a lot of money on design it means that you have a nice quality product a nice quality software if you uh, invest a lot of money on um, the the marketing it's gonna increase the product sales as soon as it comes out uh, for me when I created this PayPal I just invested 1,000 uh, but in hindsight, I should have invested a lot more money. But yeah, so that's that's basically the basic gist of it. I still have yet to explore um, all of these unlockables and then all of these upgrades. Uh, but I'm assuming that all of these will come into play when um, increasing your uh, the baseline for your um, company. I'm probably going to need a few days trying to explore this, uh, maybe even a week, just to see where I can automate stuff, um, also um, how I'm going to automate it. Anyway, let's run the YouTube comments. Um, so the first one is from Solus and he says got a new one for you when launch fleets is run I get an error exec invalid thread count must be numeric uh, blah, blah blah line 289 um, I actually encountered this error when I first ran launch fleets um, if you open up launch fleets and then scroll down to uh, Line 289 uh, you would see that it's trying to execute the script with uh, threads zero for some reason and um, just for a bandage fix, um, what I did was I just uh, did a conditional here, uh, checking whether thread count is actually one or bigger than one. If it isn't, then I just skip it. Um, but the, I have a feeling that the root issue would probably be in this create fleets script here. 
uh, but I just wanted a quick fix um, so that um, I can do some experimentation on the, the corporations um, and that seems to have removed the, the problem completely um, all right so next one is again from Solus and he says well I chose to rerun bitnode 1 I get to get those multipliers so that that gives you plenty of time to figure out how corpse work looking forward to it uh, yeah that's a perfectly valid uh, option to take as well um, actually considering of repeating bitnode 3 as soon as I beat it mainly because I made a lot of mistakes at the beginning of this and um, yeah, I think I can do a little bit better in the next rerun. So maybe that might cause some delays on my YouTube uploads, mainly because I don't want to be uploading the same thing. <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, all right. So next one is again from Solus, um, and he says, "I just looked at your current stable scripts on GitHub and saw Autostar script. When I use it on a new bit node, low stats. It seems to change targets too soon." And pick ones that have low success rate and take a long time to hack. Uh, sometimes it changes targets before a hack week and a grow attempt is completed. Uh, this, bef this is before I get formulas.exe. Is there a way to make it less aggressive in picking new targets? Or is, it, is this meant to be for later when your stats increase faster? Uh, thanks for posting your scripts by the way. As someone who only took a few program programming classes a few uh, years ago. They are big help. Yeah, thanks. Uh, um, no, no problem. So let's um, for the auto starter script. Um, I actually created that to sort of automate the uh, starter process. So the idea for the auto starter is to, um, I guess, run the auto deploy script as long as um, like that we don't have formulas.exe. Um, the ultimate goal of auto starter is to um, swap out to um, the launch fleet script, mainly because our gimme money script, um, as you can see, is very ineffective. And um, if you're starting out with low stats, that's definitely expected to s switch out bit nodes really, really quickly. And then eventually it's gonna start normalizing to um, a server with the max money. And then every single server that you can control will point to that and will try to weaken it and then eventually give you uh, the most money. But um, preferably we want to target the ones with the highest revenue yield and we can't really do that without formulas.exe um, so yeah so as much as possible that's the, the idea is to grind out uh, money so that we can unlock formulas.exe as quickly as possible uh, next one is again from Solus, and he says have you looked into share and get share power commands it helps you gain faction rep takes a lot of threads to do though um, I haven't really looked into that yet but it did look interesting when you mentioned it um i still don't know where the usage is for this um but maybe i might use it when uh, when i need to um and then show show everyone how how to use it um next one is from sage ptr and he says in bitnode 3 the main source of income is the corp itself you can completely ditch everything except your corp before you reach really big profit with such big income it's easy to buy every augment and complete the bit node um yeah that's yeah that i remember um you know commenting on sage ptr's top level comment and the, he's actually the one that uh, sh told me that i can start my corporation with um with the uh, seed money so that thank you for that sage ptr you seem to know uh, a lot more about, about this game than me yeah so if you have any tips on i guess increasing the my the profit potential that's very much appreciated as well because i i am kind of stuck at this um and this is like me speaking from uh a, a new person's perspective as well um all right so next one is i guess from fish six channel uh, and he says i get i cannot get fine targets to work it keeps getting giving me error um, yeah, so uh, if you're having issues, I remember um, commenting on this as well, and um, some of the some of the issues that you've had um, is already fixed in the stable uh, folder. So if you just download the find targets on the stable folder, it should hopefully work. And if it doesn't, anyone is free to change a few stuff in that stable folder. Um, yeah, and that's that's about it. Um, I guess in the next few days, I'm gonna be trying to um, figure out how to increase my production 
on corporation and then uh, try to ident identify where this um the api automation script will go into um so i'll see you guys in the next one